Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Uh, last time we uh, finished up with Ike's group and survived an ambush on us by the uh, Disciples of Order. And now we're going to continue on with the third and final group, which we'll meet in a second. But first, map commentary. Tibarn's party takes a long, circuitous route, leading them east around Lake Semper. The Hawk King's company includes Queen Alincia of Crimea, her trusted aide Lucia, the Heron Prince Rayson, the Laguz warrior Ranulf, Dayan's King Peleus, and the Queen Mother Almeida. While they receive reports from the other two groups about the Disciples of Order, they have encountered no resistance, and have thus far traveled in peace. Chapter 2, Silent World Okay, I'm having some trouble with uh, the freaking frame dropping again. Again, I wish I knew why it was doing this, but... Eh, hopefully it won't bug out too much. It's just the beginning part, so... I'll keep going. That's an interesting way of looking at it. But yeah, that is kind of a terrible irony. There's Tabarn again, acting like such a badass. Anyway, uh, one thing I want to mention right here is a lot of people have been asking me, like, so you're not going to show, like, the scenes of, like, if Peleus were dead or any of that? Uh, for that, I just want to make this clear. If Peleus dies, the only thing that happens is that instead of being a whiny mother who tries to keep her son out of danger... Almeida is just an emo mother who lost her son. That's the only difference. It doesn't change anything. Just, it, just the fact that he's here. That's the only difference. So I just wanted to make that clear. I love how she called everyone else peasants when there's a Heron Prince, the Queen of Crimea, and the King of 
Phoenicia's there as well. That just that just shows how warped Almeida's head is. Anyway, I think we're at the base now. Yes, we are. MVP is, I'm going to guess, Ike. Yep, I figured. And, uh, let's go ahead and go to our info conversations. We only have two conversations, so this won't take us too long. So there we go, we got a Satori sign, hooray for that. And now, here's another conversation. So there, we got a Rex Flame Tome. It's kind of cool how you get, like, every Tome of the Magic Triangle um, in those info conversations. Hope you actually brought the right kind of uh, mages to the right kind of places if you wanted to do that, though. Okay, so um, one thing I am going to show off before I cut footage. Go to Alencia and immediately remove the Mercy skill. That is a very bad skill for her to have, and uh, I'll, I'll explain why. Mercy allows an enemy unit to retain 1 HP when the unit receives a lethal blow. So basically, if you can kill the unit, Mercy will activate and you can't kill the unit at all. That's basically what Mercy is. Why you would want that skill, I have no idea. Probably to maybe weaken an enemy and have someone else get the kills. But still, that is a very stupid and pointless skill. Make sure you remove that. And you know what? Just to show you how much I hate that skill... Oh look, I sold it! That's how stupid it is. Okay, uh, any supports I can do? I don't think there are. I guess we'll find out. Oh, no, I can't actually do more with this yet. So, yeah, I guess I'm done. Um, I'll be right back in a few minutes, folks. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, I didn't really do that much, because uh, there really aren't very many characters I have to choose from, in all honesty. Uh, just Torneo, Gotri, Rolf, Danved, Makalov, Oscar, and then uh, just, you know, Alencia and Tavarn and Rayson. But there is a reason for that. I do have a big focus in mind for this next chapter, but I'm not going to say who it is yet because that's something we're going to have to find out. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what's going to happen. Uh, for now, I put the Paragon scale on Torneo just because. You know, that could actually work out pretty well for him, so... Uh, yeah, that's really about it. I also gave some of the units the next weapon they'll be gaining once they level up, so that's what I did there. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm ready, so let's go ahead and leave the base and continue.
And it looks like they're finally gonna fight. person we're going to fight in this chapter is actually one who is very, very familiar to us. So, who is the boss? Ooh, that battle sprite looks familiar. Valtome! Alright gonna kick a little Valtome ass in this chapter. Thank God, that's what we need to do. Okay, so, um, let's see. As you can see, we kind of have two different paths we can take. I think this path is the more difficult path, so I think here I'm probably gonna send, uh, hmm, I don't know. I guess I could do that. Um, trying to figure out... Oh, let me do this first. I'm not going to take Rinalf or Lucia with me, or Khalil. So let me uh, get this ordered out a little bit. I guess I'll go ahead and put Lucia and maybe Zaharp in here. Again, I'm not going to be using them, so it's not a big deal or anything. Khalil might be a good choice, too. Yeah, I'll put Khalil in. Again, I probably won't need them, and I probably won't use them, so... We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, actually, both ways are pretty equal in terms of what you have to fight. So I guess it really doesn't matter that much. Hmm. I guess I'll do this. I guess I'll take... Some of the guys this way. I'll take these two this way, backed up by all these guys, so... I guess that works. That, that should work anyway. It, it won't take long for these guys to promote, because again, he has Paragon, and Oscar is at level 20, so they should definitely promote. I'm not really liking like what Oscar's turning into. I'm not really that impressed with him. So, we'll see what happens there. I'll go ahead and save... And let us begin the chapter. Now you're probably wondering, who am I talking about when I mentioned earlier there's someone I'm going to be using in this chapter? Well, again, just give it a little time. I'm sure we'll see it eventually. Also, battle animations, I did promise you guys, so... Um, I'm going to leave... Yeah, I'm going to leave Tabarns on. We've seen Alencia already, so... I'm turning hers off. Raisin doesn't matter. I'm uh, going to turn yours off for right now. I'm probably going to keep the the marshals off, because we have already seen Luna, and we've seen them fight in the last chapter, so I'll leave them alone. We haven't seen Deadeye yet, so I'll keep Rolf on, and we've seen uh, Impale and Soul, so I guess I can turn these guys off, too. Uh, I don't need to see you guys. So yeah, I really don't have that much on right now, so I apologize, but, you know, it's, even though the character sprites are different, they're all the same, so it doesn't matter at all. Wow, that didn't do very much damage. This might be a little more tricky than I thought. Not that I have a problem with that or anything, it's just gonna be kind of hard to get through this little section right here. I guess the first thing I'll do is I'll possibly get a dead eye on this guy. We'll see though. Little Rolf the Marksman. Nope, no dead eye. I did weaken him though. That is a good thing. I did weaken him. Plus, there's always a chance I could get impaled, too, so... Definitely not gonna give up.
I'm going to move these guys forward, and I can also conver converse with you two. I know that's kind of weird how Rolf and Gotri have a relationship, but whatever. It didn't make sense to take two marksmen with me, so I'm not going to worry about Shinon and Wolf's actual relationship with them being... Well, not them being, but Shinon being his teacher and everything. Okay, so that's a good start, I think. At least in my opinion. Okay, both of these guys have axes, so... It might be a good idea to move Alencia forward first. And these other guys are not going to really do much at all. They're really just going to stay back and see what they can do on this side of the battlefield. Okay, so Alencia, you... Doesn't matter who you fight. Yeah, go ahead and do this. That works for me. Oh, I didn't give Torneo a... Uh, that was kind of stupid. Wait, can you... shove Torneo? Yes, you can! That's kind of weird how that works out, but <laughs> whatever, I'll take it. And just so you know, uh, Tabarn is the main commander of this fight, so... That is who's technically in charge. Although I always expected Alencia should be the commander for this fight. Because she was actually like the lord in the second part of the game, but... I suppose they didn't like that idea. Let's see, how, how far can you go? Movement... Seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah, you can't do anything. And you guys just play Ring Around the Rosie, I guess. You four. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Okay, so yeah, here's Valtome. We are going to finally kill her. Or him. Whatever. Men should not wear that much lipstick. But yeah, thank thank God we're finally going to put an end to him, because I freaking hate Beltome. Beltome is definitely my least favorite senator. Least favorite character is definitely Azuka. But that's kind of obvious, because Azuka sucks. Anyway, on the second turn of the battle, as we'll see in a second... King Peleus arrives! Okay, so we have Peleus. I'll go ahead and talk about Peleus. Actually, I should actually talk about Tabarn, too. Considering he's a new unit. Okay, here's Tabarn. Tabarn is the Hawk King. He has several skills. First, Savior, which eliminates skill and speed penalties for carrying a Traveler. He has Pavise, which can nullify the end effects of an enemy unit's attack. Form Shift, already explained. You guys know these two. And he also has the Tear skill, uh, his Satori Sign skill. Uh, Tabarn, in my own honest opinion, he is the best... Lagoo's unit of the entire game. Tabarn is a freaking badass. He's so freaking powerful. Um, there's a good chance that he's gonna, like, not die. Even if he's in danger, he's not gonna die. He's just, he's too strong and too badass for that, and he's definitely, like, my favorite Lagoo's unit. I've, I've explained that numerous times, but he's, like, seriously, he's awesome. I, I love Tabarn. Tabarn is awesome. He's a really good character to use. Especially in the final parts of the game. He's just going to come in a lot of handy for the rest of the game, pretty much. But yeah, that is uh, Tabarn. Cool, awesome, amazing Tabarn. 
Anyway, uh, now we can talk about Peleus. Peleus does kind of come at a low level, but he is at his second tier, so... You know, and, and this is a good battle for him to actually catch up and level ups, because... Uh, Peleus is honestly a really good unit. He really is. Um, he, of course, uses Dark Magic, which is very powerful. It's also kind of hard to hit with Dark Magic, too, so keep that in mind. But yeah, Peleus is just a great unit. Uh, once you level him up. He does take a while to level up a little bit, but he usually uh, caps a lot of his stats, too, so he's a very powerful magic user. Definitely one I'd recommend, but, you know, it, there is kind of that um, disadvantage at first with, you know, raising him up to be a good unit, but he definitely does. He is definitely worth it in the long run, at least in my opinion. Anyway, uh, he comes with three spells, but of course, um, he has very limited uses in this map because you can't actually prepare to use them for this chapter, but uh, we'll fix that next time. Uh, he comes with uh, Karu, Varine, I'm probably messing up these names, but I don't care, and the long-range spell, spell Fenrir, Fenrir, or however you say that. Again, a lot of very hard pronunciation spells, but whatever, he's awesome, so I'll give him a break. Uh, right now, Kuro is probably the best, just because it has the best chance of hitting, and I would, would like to use him to maybe destroy one of these units. Let's see, 13 resistance, uh, what is he? Dang it, uh, let me, uh, very quickly... Oh, wait, I guess I can just look at the MTs before I... 9, 10, 12. He does 33, so... Yeah, I could kill that guy. I could kill that... I could kill that guy, definitely. Well, maybe not. Okay, yeah, this guy's better, so I'll, I'll move over there first. Oh, and I will turn on Peleus' animations, too, so you can see those. Uh, Peleus is a lot different than the druids you'll find in the game. He acts more like a sage, not really a druid. There are no playable druids in this game. Just FYI. Okay, let's see. Um, wow, that's even... Uh, I don't like that chance. Uh, let's go ahead and try it, though. It's possible I might hit. It's kind of hard, though, because they're on a forest, so I'm not surprised. Thank you, okay. I have to admit, I hate Peleus' personality, but I love him as a fighter. That's my own honest opinion for Peleus. Before I do anything, let me... See, I don't like how much damage Oscar takes from these units. His defense is not where I want it to be. So heal Torneo right there, because he's going to be promoting very soon. Also, uh, one thing I do want to mention, I don't remember if I've mentioned this yet, but I am definitely taking Alencia to my, uh, in my final team, so... I already have three members of my team picked out already. Or, four members, I'm sorry, four members. So, I have I have Rolf, Nephany, Jill, and Alencia. And I essentially have to pick six more, so... Uh, that, that's what I'm basically trying to figure out now, what other six I want to take. And I have it set up to where I have a bunch of different groupings of units, where I have, like, you know... A group of generals and marshals, a group of horseback units, a group of magic users, and even a group of the Lagoos Royal units that um, I could p potentially use in the final chapter as well. And that's kind of where the whole idea for the poll comes into play, where I'd basically have one poll for each grouping, and then the winner would actually, you know, be in that final team. Because personally, I really don't care who's in my final team. And I would like to make this a little interactive, so that's why I have been thinking about doing a poll. 
But, you know, I, I guess I can still think about it a little bit, and I'll, I'll, I'll make an announcement before I get to the final chapter about whether or not I am going to do that or not. But that's basically what I'm thinking about doing. So now that you guys are, you know, more familiar with what I've been thinking and what I could possibly be doing for this game. And I know that there have been a lot of people who have been, like, asking me non-stop, like, who I'm going to use and all that. The honest answer to that question is I just don't know. I mean, it's hard to say. There's so many great units in this game, you can't really... You can't really determine who I'm going to use or what. And yeah, it looks like Peleus took some damage right there. It might be wise to send him down south to get this guy because he's not in a frickin' thicket. Like, how much will this do if I hit you? Oh, 80%? Okay. Well, yeah, I am definitely liking these percentages better, so... I'll do that. I have no problem with that at all. 